First up, for your best friend, we've got peanut butter dog treats from YouTube's Lindsay Ann Bakes. Hey, Amber. And this recipe is so simple. You just mix two cups of whole wheat flour, a cup of rolled oats, and two tablespoons of baking powder. Add in a cup of milk and a cup of natural peanut butter, then stir it until it becomes a soft dough. You can add some bacon bits in there, a mashed banana, um, if you want to have a nice shiny coat on your pooch, you can add an egg or two in there. Roll it, or should we say roll it over, until it's about half an inch thick. Should we start cutting out some shapes? Bake it at 350 degrees for about eight minutes and get ready for some serious tail wagging. They're so cute. Is it good, Ambie? I think she likes it. Next up, YouTube's Cook with April has tuna cat cakes that'll make your furry feline a purry feline. You'll need one undrained can of tuna, a cup of cornmeal, one cup of all-purpose flour, and a third cup of water. And then you're gonna use your hands to mix everything together because the tuna needs to get really separated and mixed in with everything else. Roll your dough and bake the cat cakes at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Come on, kitties. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, they like it. And finally, if you're more into feathers than fluff, no problem. Animal X Arts has treats for tweeters that'll have them flocking to your patio. Mix two tablespoons of birdseed, two tablespoons of oats, a tablespoon of whole wheat flour, and some millet. Add a tablespoon of honey until it becomes workable, then roll the mixture into beak-sized balls and bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. These will have the whole neighborhood chirping. Cravables for critters, that's three easy DIY animal goodies on your hashtag Tuesday Treats.